Today we're gonna to talk about a condo versus a house. If you can't do a single family house anymore, don't just hang it up and stay in your rental for five years. Consider a condo and I'm gonna show you hidden costs of a single family compared to what a homeowner's association fee covers. Although you pay a homeowner's association fee, also known as an HOA fee, it seems like a lot. And in many cases, it is. If it's a luxury building, you're gonna be paying five, six, seven, eight hundred a month. So if you can afford that, great. But it usually will include a pool, a gym, a really nice one, and community rooms, which I find people don't use. They don't. Maybe a few single people or a group of friends uh, use it on the weekends. But in general, to me, it's wasted space. Homeowners dues. Older buildings, it may cover property taxes. It may cover heating or water, generally, in your homeowners dues. If you live in a townhouse, you might pay your own water bill which means your HOA fee is generally maybe a little less. So let me give you an example. A homeowner's dues fee, say of $500 a month, it's going to cover insurance for the entire complex, whether it's five buildings or one building. There will be a master policy that covers the entire building for any damage on the outside. It will also cover plumbing in the walls. If you have a water leak from upstairs or it's in the main wall and you really have no control over it, the homeowners association has to pay for that. It will cover landscaping, snow removal, uh, maintenance of parking garage if there is a parking garage, and wa water for the entire complex, and building maintenance. All the lighting in the hallways, cleaning, vacuuming of common areas, hallways, entryway. Also, someone will be coming through cl cleaning up the mail area, etc. That is what your homeowner's dues covers. Now, 